binge eating is something that really can, you know, seem that it's not a big deal, but it really can hurt you. I've met a lot of people and had this problem in my own life. Sometimes you, you know, eat healthy all day, right? You wake up and you have egg whites and you have a salad for lunch, and then all of a sudden you have a healthy dinner, and then 9, 10 o'clock rolls around, and oh, you know what? Let me go into the kitchen. Let me see what's there. Maybe you will just have a few chips, or maybe I'll just have, you know, one little piece of pizza, or maybe that cake that I'm going to have, I'll just have a little bite. And before you know it, you're eating like crazy. You know, you're having uh, 5,000 calories. So what I want to tell you is if you do binge eat, you need to um, try to work on it because it is a behavioral issue and it can be changed, but you need to take small steps. So here's an example. Keeping healthier stuff in the house, right? So if I get hungry at 9 o'clock at night and I have two rice cakes, nothing wrong with that. If I have uh, some very healthy popcorn, nothing wrong with that. If I go and I have five chocolate bars for you know 500 calories each, then there is a problem. So pick healthier things to eat. Also figure out you know what's going on when you go into your mind and you say, hey, I need this food. What does it do for you? For many people, the food is something soothing us. It's calming us. It's allowing us to feel relieved. It's taking away the stress. Oftentimes, people that are binge eating have other situations in their lives that are very hard. What that tells me, if you are doing that, is you need to get help. Go get a therapist or a doctor. You know, work on what's really going on in your life because oftentimes finding healthier outlets make it better. Maybe instead of binge eating, you have to figure out how to you know, release your pain. It might be going to the gym, it might be doing yoga or boxing or karate or playing tennis or basketball or doing anything you can you know, to release that energy you have in a better way because this way you won't binge eat, you won't gain weight, and you won't feel that feeling of heaviness. And please know I've had situations where I eat too much. I know it's not easy. Food is something we need to live, so it's not like you have a choice never to eat again. But uh, it is something that if you'll make better choices, it'll be helpful. I am a social worker and life coach. My wife who's in the medical field, too. We started a free community because when I was a kid, I nearly died from bipolar disorder and felt very alone and isolated. And I wish there was a place we could all get together and share what we're feeling, make new friends, encourage each other, find more hope. We also do a one-on-one -on -one coaching service to help you make change. I'd love you to come to our website and see all the stuff we do. It's called willlisten.com. That's W I L L. L-I-S-T-E-N.com, willlisten.com, and I hope to see you there. And please know if you or somebody loves face, faces binge eating, it doesn't have to be the end, and if you'll make positive change, you can see improvement. Thanks.